This is a rather special playthrough for you today. We have a damageless run of Roll 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 Your Beat Tango Down the Stream, made by my good friend the Met Luigi. And well, I did the tile work for this level. It was made for the NRS Creators Appreciation Week, and thus I did a damageless run for it. And I figured, well, the Bad Luigi doesn't have any other levels, so I might as well showcase my damageless run uh, on this little channel here. And I hope you will enjoy that. Alright, let's begin the level. Uh, the level itself will have music from Gremlins 2 on the NES, so there we go. That, uh, that sounds a little bit uh, peculiar, but it's of course very nice to have something different from the normal variety of Mega Man uh, music. Uh, we're playing as Roll, and instantly we get Tango for the level. Now, why do we get Tango? Uh, because this is basically a uh, homage to Buddy Week from NRS Season 2. Uh, there's these nice little switch puzzles which we are walking through. We're kind of speedrunning through them, of course, because this is a speedrun. And look, there's a nice little smiler for your troubles. As we make our way through the very first section of the jungle, we end up in the water, which is the stream of the level. Uh, doing some fancy work here with Tango, you can actually, uh, and you are supposed to, uh, switch to your n normal regular broom. But instead, I just do some uh, fancy things with Tango here to make this all go by a little bit faster. And we enter the first boss door of this level, of which there are multiple, and we face off against Splash Woman. Now, Splash Woman you can hit as soon as the insta-death beam goes away. And if you do it correctly, you can actually hit her twice. Four hits will definitely kill her, so let's do that. One, two, three, four. And that's the end of Splash Woman uh, for this level. And thus we continue on into the mountains. And where we find our second buddy, Beat. And Beat is going to help us uh, fly through an ancient castle in the sky, in the, in the mountains or whatever. And uh, we have to do the usual things with Beat. We have to flip the switches while managing not to fall and hit the spikes. Which isn't as easy as it uh, seems. But it's, it's quite manageable in the end. Uh, that's the castle section for you. And then we have the final section which is outside with another set of insta kill beams. But this time around you have to flip the switch and really quickly avoid the beams before they kill you. Like here. Up. You have to be a little bit brave. And there it is, the trademarked Matt Luigi Smiler. And we enter the second boss fight of the level, which is Bubble Man. It's, I figured, if we are going to use Splash Woman first, we might as well use Bubble Man second, because they are both bosses that act different when they are not underwater. Uh, this is actually very hard to do damageless, because Bubble Man throws his bubbles in the arc, and you also try to avoid the death lasers. Yeah, that's not very easy. And a uh, nice NRS logo. And we enter the final boss fight. It's Bubble Man with his harem of Splash Women. Uh, we feel first have to kill off the Splash Women. One is down. The second one is down as well. And we, now we get Beat. And we can use Beat to go up. And make sure that the master of the level. Uh, Bubble Man is quickly disposed of. Which isn't. <laughs> again isn't as easy. As you can see, it's very much about uh, hitting every single time you can. Because Beat is quickly running out of juice here. He's like, ah, let me go! <laughs> but in the end, we can manage it without doing pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase. And please do leave your own levels in the comments down below.